everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are going to get started on page six. Page six. So this is going to be a simple page. I'm going to adhere um, this directly to the pocket page, and then we're going to um, use this card to make a trifold um, centered on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and start by gluing this down. I just refilled my glue, and it's really flowing. <laughs> I sort of surprised myself there. It's a little too heavy. There we go. This, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to, I think it's from the 8x8 collection pack. I'm going to have to look at the scale in a second. Yeah, it has to be. That's too small. So this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And then again, we're going to um, use this card here. Um, Actually, I'm going to pull in page seven. So page seven, we're going to do the same thing. Trying to decide where I want which card. If I want the face on this side. Mm, I think I want this because this looks a little more organic and we already have a rectangular shape here. And then this is kind of an organic shape and this is rectangular. So I think I did have it the way I wanted it. So I'll set this aside now. So what I've got here is a 12 by 6, 12 by 6, and I scored at 4 inches and 8 inches, and it's going to trifold like so. Actually, I've got it so it's going to go like that, and I want it to open this way, so I'm going to adhere this card to the top. And so let me show you one more time. I've got it's tucked in, tucked in, and then the card's going to go on top here. And I trimmed the white edges off the card because um, they just they don't look good against the cream cardstock. So that's going to go like that. And then I'm going to put some cardstock on the very last panel to make it pop against this. Very simple page. Now we're going to place um, this right here. I'm going to cover this up slightly, but I am going to have it slightly over to the right side. Eyeballing that, I think it looks pretty good. Yep, right on. Okay, so now we're ready to do the layout on the inside. So I've trimmed these, and this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. I have to decide: do I want it this direction, or I like it this way? Yeah. And the nice thing about the, using the 12 by 12 collection pack is, um, you know, I can cut it in half at six inches and um, get three panels so that I have a continuous pattern here on the inside. Pause right here because we're going to add a magnet. <clears throat> I 
And then we're going to add a magnet on this side. So when it's closed, it'll stay in place. Here we go. We'll close it. Go ahead and lay this panel down. I just drew those little circles to remind myself I didn't put uh, designer paper down before I got my magnet in place. <clears throat> it's not a bad idea to do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Now I need one more piece. I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. Okay, I've um, located the last piece I'm going to apply here. This is also from 12 by 12. Uh, it's not from the same sheet, but I thought it looked, you know, it goes with the flow with this sort of um, sweater, this knit pattern, as well as the knit pattern over here. Hmm another option. I'm not sure. I think I like this. So that's what we're going to do. is it for page um, six. Okay, be back soon guys.